Shalom to my brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. The word for today is salvation. The title of the lesson is, What is salvation and who is salvation for? My brothers and sisters, it saddens me to hear all the false doctrine about salvation when the word is very clear on what is salvation and who it is for. So I'd like for you to turn to Romans chapter 10, and we're going to read verse 8 through 21. Romans chapter 10, verse 8 through 21. I'm reading from the King James Bible, 1611 version. The scriptures show the difference between the righteous of the law and this of faith, and that all both Jew and Gentile that believe shall not be confounded and that the Gentiles shall receive the word and believe. Israel was not ignorant of these things. Verse 8. But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, Yahushua HaMashiach, and thou and shall believe in thy heart that Yahuwah have raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same master over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of Yahushua HaMashiach shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And, and how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good news, of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Yahuwah, who have believed our report? So then, faith coming by hearing, and hearing by the word of Yahuwah. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily. That sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. But I say, did not Israel know? First Moses said, I will provoke you to jealousy by them, that are no people, and by a foolish nation, I will anger you. Now here I definitely like to expound on this verse because there's a false doctrine about the Gentiles cannot receive salvation. Verse 19 is a verse proving that they can because the Most High warned Israel if they will what? Break the covenant that he made with them. He will raise up a, a, a people to serve him, a nation that is not called by his name, to make us jealous. I highly recommend that you read Deuteronomy chapter 32, especially verse 21. Let us go to verse 20. But Isaiah is very bold and saith, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. As you can see in my book, it's recommending you to read Isaiah chapter 65, verse 1. And I highly recommend that you start doing some research about the Samaritans. Even Yahushua HaMashiach in, in the book of Luke chapter 10 told us that the Samaritans is our neighbors too. And we know the history of the Samaritans. They were of a Gentile nation. When you read the book of Maccabees, the work of Josephus, and B. 
Ben Sarah, which is ecclesiastical in the book of the Apocrypha, they will let give you the history of the Samaritans. And they will tell you that the, the Samaritans have been known to claim to be Israelites, but they are not truly Israelite by blood. And what's so funny about history is when Antiochus came on the scene and when things got hot, they hurry up and let Antiochus know that they were truly Gentiles and they were not Israelites. Read about it. Then go to the gospel and read what Christ said to our people about the Samaritans being our neighbors too. Because you remember the greatest law? Love thy neighbor as thyself. But let us proceed further. Verse 21. But, but to Israel he saith, All day long I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gang-saying people. And you can definitely see that in the Old Testament, even into the New Testament. So these are some other chapters i like for you to read because you can see how rebellious my people were, how they served other gods, how they killed their children to other gods, how they was wicked to the stranger, to the widow, to the fatherless. It, I, my people was off the chain. So some other extra readings you can do. I would like for you to read Ezekiel chapter 46. That's dealing with the stranger also getting land in the new kingdom in the land of Israel. Isaiah chapter 56. That's dealing with the strangers often will be received too. For remember he said his, his, his house is a house of prayer for all. Also read Malachi chapter 3 verse 1 through 6. Especially verse 5. Because if we turn the stranger against the right... Judgment will come to us. So if we turn anyone away from receiving salvation who truly want to receive salvation, which is believing in the gospel of Yahushua Hamashiach and being baptized in his name, then if we turn that Israelite or Gentile away from that, we will be punished for their blood will be on our hands. Also, the next subject we're going to be talking about is about how many times a person can die. And how many times can a soul die? So 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 28 through 58. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 through 18. Also, to give you more insight about, uh, um, about the people who are also called by his name, also read Acts chapter 15, 13 through 17. And the precept for that is Amos chapter 9, verse 11 through 12. Because in the kingdom, there will be a divine order. And I highly recommend that you read the Old Testament to understand the, the divine order. Yes, all of us will be servants in the kingdom. Israelites are servants unto the Most High and unto Christ. Then we have personal handmaid and men servants unto Israelites. Then we have strangers who will live among the Israelites in the land of Israel. And then we have the nations who will bring their offerings and their tributes unto, I mean, to the Most High and to the nation of Israel. And you can read Isaiah chapter 60 about that and Revelation chapter 21 because there will be a divine order. Just like in this kingdom, there's a divine order where you have your kings, your presidents, and also, you know, so on and so forth and to down to who, who cleans the land and all that kind of stuff. That's like this. Like here we have an order here in the new kingdom. There will be a divine order. Now, this is very important. You must know about Torah. Torah will tell you how to treat one another. There's no such thing of us mistreating one another or doing evil to, to one another. There will be righteousness in this kingdom. But let us continue on. So we're going to go to Revelation chapter 20 because we all know the earthly death, which is dealing with the body, we can only die one time. And the spiritual death is dealing with the soul because with the spiritual death is dealing with a place of eternity. Either you can go to a place of torment for the rest of your life, which is, um, which is hell. And then the, the, um, the, the eternal death is the lake of fire or 
for a place of uh, rest, peace, and happiness is the um, the new kingdom of the new heaven and the new earth. So let us go to Revelation 20 now. And I'm going to start with the summary first. Uh, let me focus. Revelations chapter 20. Saying bound for a thousand years. The first resurrection. They bless. They have part therein. Setting let loose again. God and may God. The devil cast into the lake of fire and brimstone. The last and general resurrection. So in this chapter, it's going to talk about the first resurrection and the second resurrection. The first resurrection is dealing with when, when Yahushua come back, those who are resurrected will receive their new bodies and have eternal life. And you can read that again in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 28 through 58, and 1 Thessalonians chapter 14 through chapter 4, um, verses 16 through 18. And I also want to let you know about this again. For further readings about to see how wicked my people was, read all the prophet books, but also read Jeremiah chapter 7, Ezekiel chapter 2, chapter 8, um, chapter 16, chapter 23, and Zechariah chapter uh, 11, verse 10 through 14. When you get a chance, read that as well. But let's go back to Revelation chapter 20, because I would like to start reading at verse... 11. <clears throat> and I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I forgot to mention that the second resurrection is dealing with those who did not um, raise up when, when Christ came in the earth to reign and to carry out his father's earthly judgment. So the second uh, resurrection is dealing with the eternal judgment. This is when the Father come to us to give us the eternal judgment. Um, verse 12. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before Yahuwah. And the books were open. And another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead was judged out of those, out of those things which were written. In the book according to their works. And again a key key thing. You're going to be a judge according to your works that you do in this earthly realm. And that's for Israelites and Gentiles. And the sea gave up the dead which was in it. And the dead in hell delivered up the dead which was in them. And they will judge every man according to their works. And dead in hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So again, my people, please study the word for yourself. There are so many false doctrines out here. The word is very clear. For anyone to enter into the new kingdom, you must be born again, whether you are Israelite or Gentile. Read John chapter 3 verses 1 through 12 for more study about the water baptism and the Holy Spirit baptism. There are two different things. The water baptism represents the carnal and the Holy Spirit baptism represents the spiritual. So I highly recommend for you to read not only John chapter 3 verse 1 through 12, Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 8, chapter 11, and chapter 19. For again, I see a lot of uh, false doctrines going out here about the word. All right. So this shall conclude the lesson for today. Again, I thank you uh, for taking the time out to listen to this. Again, if you have any questions, I can also be reached on Facebook. Uh, my name is Yitia. You also can reach out to my husband. His name is Yora. You to spell Y T Y Y A H. You are spell Y O R A H. Um, and if you have any questions or would like to get in touch with us, just leave um, your comment in the comment section. Shalom.